welcome the eighth speaker. The eighth speaker is Mr. Ahn Jansen from Kyoto University. He chose B. Suppose you were a scientist and knew how to make bomb. What would you do? So, Mr. Ahn, please come up to the stage. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson, Honorable Judges, and hello, ladies and gentlemen. Now, before I start my speech, allow me to ask you a question. What is the fastest thing in the world? Now, these the questions was being asked by my teacher since I was in elementary school. So some of my friends say, the light is the fastest thing in the world. Some of my friends say, the sound is the fastest thing in the world. No, you are all wrong. Neither light nor sound is the fastest thing in the world. Human thinking is the fastest thing in the world. The faster the human think, the faster the car we can make. The faster the human think, the faster the train we can make. Faster than the light, faster than the sound. The advancement of the current technologies allow us humans to make everything, including clothes. Now, if I am a scientist that knows how to make clothes, what would I do? The first thing is I will use this technology to tackle two issues. The first thing is artificial meat. So now, with the increased populations, the human populations, total human population in the world are increasing rapidly. So, hundreds, millions of animals, such as chickens, cows, are being killed just to fulfill the stomach of human beings. So what are the consequences? It results in the extinctions of many animals, especially some of the endangered species, such as whale. So, with the technologies of cloning, Basically, many companies now are investing into cloning system in which a very tiny pieces of the cells are taken from the animal without causing pain to that animal, without killing them. And these cells could be actually propagated in the laboratory by making clones into meat and ensure sufficient amount of proteins, vitamins, which is exactly similar into the real meat. So not only it can actually fulfill, sustain the next generation food for the increased human population, but also it can prevent the extinctions of the animals. Now the second point would be the, the usage of this technology in the medical treatment. Now as we all know that there are certain diseases such as Alzheimer's, which is mainly due to the damage of the brain cells, which cannot be cured by the current technology such as medical treatment. So by using the technology of the clones, propagating of the cells, such as brain cells, we can actually perform the transplantations of the brain cells into the patients that are suffering Alzheimer's disease or certain types of rare diseases that cannot be cured with the typical uh, chemical treatments. So therefore, by using the cloning technologies, the human clone, or the clonings of the cells, I would like to propose two things here as a scientist. The first is the application in the generations of the next generation food, that is the artificial meat and death. And then the second point would be the medical application, that is the transportation. So with securing the benefits, ensuring that the clones technology are being properly used, it can definitely create more benefits for the human life, a better planet, and hence a better future. Thank you for listening.
Mm-hmm.